one of the major producers of fruits and vegetables in the Philippines. At isa sa mga marami nating magagawa dito ay ang mamili ng mga gulay sa murang halaga. Kaya ngayon, mamamalengke ako at ang mga ipapamili ko, susubukan nating lulutuin mamaya. Tara, let's! So, kasama ko ngayon si Chef Jehan. Tuturo niya sa akin yung isa sa mga bestsellers nila, di ba? Yes. Ano po yung pangalan ulit ng dish um, na ating We will be making pickled pakbet. So, magmamalengke tayo ng mga ingredients for the pakbet. Okay. So, pickled pakbet. I'm so excited not just to taste it but to learn how to make it as well. So, she will help me kung ano yung mga ingredients na kakailanganin natin. Talong, maliit na okra, and we love it small. No? This is talong? Yes. No? Cute, no? Baby so talong. <laughs> so, we're gonna buy some and put it in our pickled packet. Okay. And then also, so we have talong young okra. And young okra. okra. Young and also, very young. Ampalaya? Ampalaya. It's so small. <laughs> we love the smaller varieties. No? Akala ko iisipin mo kapag ganito kaliit para ibig sabihin hindi pa siya pwede kainin pero uh, The pwede variety is really small. It doesn't grow big. So talagang ganyan lang siya kaliit. Ay talagang ganito na. <laughs> Ibang klase. Okay, so we have also a unique vegetable here. Ito yung uh, dahon ng singkamas. No? Turnip. We don't usually eat uh, this in Manila. Yung singkamas lang kinakain. But the leaves and the tops are edible. Squash! And that's the flower, the squash flower. Ito yung bulaklak ng kalabasa. Parang sobrang love na love ko ang bulaklak ng kalabasa. Tapos kanina pa niya tinatawag yung pansin ko kasi ngayon lang ako nakakita ng bulaklak ng kalabasa na sobrang niyang, as in, it's so yellow-orange. As in, ang ganda ng kulay niya talaga. Parang fresh na fresh talaga. So let's buy. We're going to put that in our in a brown. Kukuha na rin tayo ng mga talong at ampalaya for our pakbet. Kagudwa, kagudwa kilo. Two kilo! No, no, kagudwa means half. <laughs> kagudwa is half Kala kilo ko natin. Kala ko siya. So, kompleto na ang ating pang pakbet. Okay, yes. salamat ate. So, unakuha na po natin lahat ng mga ingredients Kompleta natin. Kompleta na. 80 to 100 pesos lang yung nagastos namin. Pero more than one dish na yung magagawa namin. Makakagawa kami ng pako, salad, pinakbet, at matututo ako ng panibagong recipe ang... Inabraw. Inabraw. It's an Ilocano... Vegetable stew. Vegetable stew. And I'm really excited kasi dalawang paborito ko. Tapos may dadagdag na naman siguro sa listahan ko. Kaya, tara let's! Tara let's. Palengke, nandito na kami ngayon at nakahanda na ang lahat ng mga gulay na pinamili namin kanina. I'm so excited because I'm with Chef Johan still and she will teach me a thing or two about cooking kasi hilig ko rin siya gawin sa bahay. <laughs> so first, I'll teach you how to make our very famous inabraw. It's actually a vegetable stew with a fish broth. So, ang una natin gagawin is to make a flavorful fish broth. Ito ang yung tawag namin dito ay sagpaw. Sagpaw because it will flavor the broth. So, ah, it it's a be, way of... Yes, it could be anything like inihaw na tilapia or uh, sometimes giniling na baka. Mm -hmm. But this time, we're going to use yung very common, which is the pritong tilapia. Pritong tilapia. For in a brow, the common thing to do is to really pre-cook the fish. Either you grill it or iprito mo siya. No? So this one, Nagsisi this is the more common ito. one. No? So fried fish. Okay. And then, you can add also, Andy, yung aming bagoong isda. Bagoong isda. This is my... Oh my gosh. I love Nueva Vizcaya. So this uh, fish broth needs to ano, boil pa some more para lalong lumasa yung mga ingredients in the broth itself. And then after that, we'll be adding yung vegetable na pinakamatagal maluto. So 
So next one, Andy, we're going to make uh, pakbet. Yeah, yan, yan yung pickled pakbet. Yes, the traditional pakbet is a hot dish, vegetable dish. But this time we put a little twist into it. So ipipikal natin siya, but using the traditional pakbet vegetables. So all we need is one pot of boiling water. Next is the ampalaya. small yung binili natin kanina na small ampalaya. Antayin natin na mag-change yung color ng veggies. That's an indicator na cook na siya, no? Oh, they're so cute! I'm excited to bring home all of these vegetables. This one is not spicy, no? You can get the flavor of the chili, but hindi siya maanghang. Just put it in there. And, and the last one to go is yung cigarillas. Okay? Kasi this is the easiest to cook. So what we do next is to put it in a jar. So just... these are all of the ones that we blanched. We put it in a jar already. Did we add other things other than what we boiled? Yes. So ito yung ating pickling spices. Uh, shallots again. And ginger. young ginger. And whole peppercorns. Whole peppercorns. So, nandiyan na yan to flavor the, the pickle. And then, i-add lang natin yung uh, pickling, pickling juice, juice, which is half vinegar and half water. We boil it with brown sugar. How long will it take in, to sit in the jar before it's ready? Actually, it's eaten best after two to three days. Kasi na marinate na mabuti yung uh, vegetables with the pickling liquid. Will it ever rot? Because you have to it's in vinegar. Make it clean in a clean way, no? Para talagang it will last you a long time, no? Keep chilled, uh, and also, uh, the, all the vegetables must be submerged in water in the pickling juice. No? Ano ah, lalasan ko na yung mga vegetables, lahat ng vegetables. Actually, uh, you can taste the sweetness of the vegetable, lalo na pag fresh. So I think Andy, it's already cooked, no? Ready to serve na siya. Woo! Yay! So maybe it's we done. Can, uh, plate, no? Make a plate. For the best part. Tasting time! You know, Chef, bukod sa papaborito ko siya at saka interesting yung recipe, the really nice thing about it is that as I bite onto, onto it and chew, nararamdaman ko kung gano'ng ka-fresh yung mga gulay na kinakain ko. As in, sobrang nakakadagdag siya sa sarap kasi Fresh na fresh. Okay, next I will try this. In a brow. Sobrang sarap niya. I could eat this every day. Very light and clean ang taste niya. Just the sweetness of the vegetables at saka yung flavor na fish. And that's it. One is. This one is uh, pork loin. It's just inihaw na baboy the way Filipinos like it. Mm -hmm. with sweet barbecue sauce. Okay. And the pickled pakbet that we made, we serve it with. Ito you know? na yun! Dahil dyan. So, ayan na yun, Andy. Yung mga tayo. baby vegetables that's pickled in the pickling juice. Yes. I really love it. It's really good. I really love the marinade. Oh, put. the marinade is made in house, no? In the an artificial na bought uh, in jars, no? Mm -hmm. We make our own uh, sauce here at the restaurant. And you know what the really awesome thing is? I can really taste that it's homemade. Like that's what makes it better because you're eating at a restaurant. You will never expect home cooking, even if what you're served is Filipino food, because, di ba, every home has their different take on Filipino dishes. Pero the type of food that you make is something that I won't really compare it to what we have at home, but it will be as good. You know, yes. it, it will it's as memorable. It's so good. Of course, I really encourage everybody. Especially yung never pa ng Nueva Vizcaya at talagang na curious sa mag ng Vizcayano cuisine. 
na pumunta kayo dito at subukan nyo ang Mrs. Baker. Pero bukod dyan, sana naman, Mrs. Baker, pumunta ka na rin sa Manila, sa Baler, <laughs> sa Siargao, sa Cebu, sa Davao. Branch out because I really love it. This is the type of restaurant that serves dishes that I would actually not just be happy to taste, but I'd be really happy to be able to have it or find it near me over and over again.